Hello everyone, this is Desmond Sim here, founder of Desmond Sim Associates International, socialmediatrial.com, and author of seven negative emotions preventing you to be success. So uh, in this, another bonus video, yes, <laughs> I've done one bonus video for you earlier, and this is the second bonus video, which is I personally crafted, uh, well, I did this video many years back, and uh, I was thought that maybe it's something very useful for entrepreneurs, home business owner, uh, professionals like you, and to get the real outcome of your business purpose in the end of the day, so you try and transform your life to the next level. So uh, in, this, in this chart over here, as you can see, uh, uh, well, let me explain in, a, in a greater detail that why is it so important to have uh, a good outcome, a good goal, a great KPI or key performance indicators with some corporate ac acronyms uh, that is very useful in most of our time in doing meetings, communicating with people, getting the right projects, selecting the right people, and getting the right budget, and addressing a lot, a lot of problems. In fact, we as professional coaches rely on this model would help us to get the clients the best out of it and in the end of the day hopefully to unleash the potentials and talents and without further ado um, let's hop on and allow me to explain uh, a little bit more detail about how does it work so in the end of the day what we need to focus is the entire of this funnel I call it you would achieve a KPI so this KPI it's well, you could call it a goal, you call it an outcome, you call it whatever you want, or even a purpose in your lifetime. But very important of it, when we begin, we want to know what we really want. So, a simple question that we often ask to our clients and to many other our, our corporate people in terms of small business owner and uh, many professionals out there, what do you really want to achieve in the end of the day during the coaching session or during the mentoring session? And what would you like to achieve in five years down the road so you could start do something now, right now? So this is very important and a key question that we always want to ask. So we begin a simple question about what? About what is that really you really want to focus on? what specific problems that you want to address now, what are the areas of challenges that you could streamline now, and can you make money? What do you really want? I just want to make money. For example, and some, I want to have a happy relationship. So tell me more about it. So that's the modality of the coaches that we do as, a, as, a, as my lifetime mission and how we start our conversation uh, with our clients and uh, business owners uh, as uh, like you and me as well. So first question we always ask, what? Identify the what is utmost important before we're getting to the end of KPI or the outcome. If we couldn't even clarify the actual what, then there's no point and it's pointless that we will pursue a conversation that is simply a waste of our time. So that, would you want that? Obviously not. So the second question is, why? So why would you like to have this outcome? Often this why is driven into the big why. What is the purpose? What's the reason for you to address this problem? What is actually that you are doing now that's not working? What was the behind reason that you want this uh, to achieve, for example? So having a big why, getting the outcome is very, very critical in this case. And once you identify the big purpose and reason of it, often people will get and automatically they realign back to their purpose. Like for example, in, 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 my, in my case, my life mission is to serve people, to thrive and transform their life to the next level. And by doing that, we have a series of programs like coaching, mentoring, and audio programs, my books, 
and several others of uh, business consultancy that I could help and achieve some of you uh, to, to success. Uh, as simple as that. So that is the big purpose, the big reason. And you would, you would definitely get in the line back in the end of the day. So that's why. So once you already identify that, we talk about when. When would you want to achieve that? Okay, when would you want to achieve that? Specifically, uh, what, what dates? No, uh, uh, and maybe you could uh, uh, clarify the time as well. Maybe some location that you want. You could be having in Bali, Maldives, and um, Hawaii <laughs> if you like it. And to whom that you want to achieve that? If, for example, this piece of work, this piece of project, this piece of task require collaboration, or you may want to share it with your spouses, your wife, your husband, your kids relatives, your dad, your mom, and many others. So that is to whom it is. So once you clarify all these things, then we stick to where would you want to achieve this? You could achieve this in an office, you could achieve this at home, you could achieve this anywhere. So it's actually uh, non-relevant. For some reasons, where may not be so much important, but it's also been a good idea that you could think about it, that where would help you to chart your big why, and also when would that be, and to whom would you want to celebrate your goal and KPI. And the next one, I've actually taken it down, and how would you do it? Now that's the very next question. Often people will say, so how will you do it? And uh, most challenges that people come to me, and I don't know. Some of my clients always say, how do I start? So that is actually often the key thing is, you know the big why, you know the big what, you know where, you know when, and you know where, whom you want to work with, and now you start to get things done. So how would you actually specifically achieve that goal? How specifically that this outcome would be meaningful to you. So this is something, questions, and uh, again, it will tease your brain and a whole total mind to think about it and start your workout on that. So that's about how. And the next step is, we often ask, we often ask plan. Do you have a plan, specific plan? A plan means that do you have step one, what you want to do, step two, what you want to do, step three, what you want to do. And things like that is often we will ask our clients and uh, in Tribe and Transform Coaching Blueprint program, we would do that as part of foundation and getting everybody uh, in all in one same page. So having a plan is always important. It's better than to not have a plan or it's better than to have a beautiful plan in a way itself. So my advice in this session is have a plan, a simple one, two, three. I'll do this, I'll do this tomorrow, I'll do this next two weeks, I'll follow up to this next two weeks, and I'll get it done, I'll come back and see how it works. So often there's always a result. So you can tweak and tune the things as you goes along, and uh, it will work eventually. Okay, the next one will be uh, resources. What are the things that you require? Do you need help? Do you need some information? Do you need to be guided? You need, you need somebody to coach you? You need to have some resources, for example, uh, investment, money, and all those kind of things, or facility, logistic, to help you in achieving that. So that is a specific resources that we will actually tease our client's mind in getting the real outcome. But often, we will come back to the question that the next question will be, can you do it by yourself? Which is, can it be self-initiated? Now, if you can do it by yourself, which means these things sometimes irrelevant, but sometimes it's be, you'll be useful. The, the, the challenge is most clients will not know that whether they can do it by themselves or they will simply just look for help. So what we do is we ask both questions at the same time. For example, like, can you do it by yourself or you need more help, for example. So these are often very simple and direct 
to get clients to think about it, whether they could do it themselves alone, or they could just require some little assistance from some uh, mentors, coaches, consultants, and whatsoever, even their spouses, often. So that will be self-initiated and resources. The next one we talk about. Now we were asked that how realistic is this goal? So yeah, if you want to be, you want to go to the moon, you want to travel to the moon. So you gotta be realistic. How you, how are you going to get over to the moon, right? So we will ask a certain question that does it realistic actually at this moment, or is really is realistic in next five years down the road? So we would actually judge and gauge the way how our clients work towards that goal. So realistic question is always useful because often sometimes clients don't even understand whether are they realistic enough to get their goals to be achieved. So how to do that? We'll talk about it in detail on our Tribe and Transform Coaching Blueprint. The next one, how compelling it is. Now compelling is something very, very unique stuff uh, that uh, we always, always often to include in part of this model. Why? We, as we all know that uh, in several videos earlier, we talked about the human muscle hierarchical pyramid on the motivation factor. Getting your goals is one thing, but are you compelling enough? Do you feel compelling enough? Are you enticed? Do you feel excited? Do you feel pumped up and it's very juicy to get your goal? So that is compelling. So if you're saying that, we will ask a question, for example, that uh, at a compelling status, if you want to measure from level 1 to 10, 1 is not compelling at all, and 10, you are so pumped up, so where are you? now. So what it takes to the next level if you are on a lower level gauge of measurements. This is the benchmark we talk about on compelling. You know, you, only you, yourself will determine whether how compelling that this goal will help you to transform your life, will help you to thrive in your business, will help you to move from this thriving uh, to trying times to the next level. And I know everybody is actually stressful very pressing moment in uh, throughout worldwide and that's the reason also I would like to include this model maybe to help you and serve the purpose in your life and immediately you can keep taking action uh, now on so the next one will be ecological so ecological means that what this goal required you to have monumental effort for example that you need to mobilize the entire resources worldwide that requires to move to Alaska, that requires to hire 100 truck workers, that you requires to build uh, 50 stories building to get it done. This type of questions is sometimes uh, can be unrealistic and can be silly. Uh, however, getting ecological being governed in terms of your goal is always important. And I tell you why. A lot of clients say that, uh, oh, they can get it done at, at this point of time. And somehow, they, once they come back and told me that, oh, my wife don't agree with it because I, uh, the goal simply required that I need to live far away from my wife for several years. That obviously doesn't make sense. So you won't do that, right? So that is ecological that I actually mentioned here. The next month, let's put this on a future test. On a two years or three years down the road, while you are having your goal being achieved, is this something really what you want in the end of the day? So that is something, questions, some questions, some of these powerful direct uh, uh, pointer to allow our clients to think about it, that this future test, whether it's realistic, ecological and compelling. So we often narrow down into very, very detailed up until future test. If what you are doing and three years down the road you find it is not exciting anymore or two years down the road not exciting anymore and it doesn't even wake you up in the morning at all seriously you better think back that we ask a simple question back so what do you really actually want so we go back to the same principle the first question and sometimes the clients will be stuck somewhere and we will ask back the same question is that related to what you really want 
actually so that usually what we conduct our coaching session to our corporate clients and our small business owners and in the end of the day before we achieve our KPI so ask this very direct question how do you know this is what you want to achieve by the end of the session how do you put this on a vision how do you see yourself that is this something that you really want what kind of voices or noises that actually confirm that this is something that you really want what specific feeling that you would like that you would have that you feel at that moment ah, this is the goal that I really want this is an outcome and this is a KPI I really want so evidence is something that is being measured visionary auditory kinesthetically and sometimes we will ask gustatory like for example how does it taste does it taste good once you achieve that well maybe it may not be work for you but generally if you're able to achieve what you want by what you picture your visionary what voices that actually confirm you and what feeling specific feeling the excitement the passion the happiness that you achieve the goal that will be the evidence that we measure in the end of the day so that's how we find out the evidence on, on covering the whole entire KPI or outcome coaching conversation for all business owners uh, whether it could be applied professionals uh, home business or even direct marketing and as well and even normal layman people like you and often I always coach non and other business owners it could be a relationship coaching area it could be a health coaching purpose and you can use this and uh, to be honest this is a cross the board industry universal and um, we could just simply put this model and take it action as my second bonus for you in um, this free video and I know that I should not have given more free videos but this is the video that I believe in these trying times will work for you so until the next video and maybe the final video uh, stay tribe and I look forward to transform your life further Bye for now.